Even with the music, smiles, and a renewed sense of togetherness, one year after the Caldor fire began, a community is still grieving. It really kind of felt like I was planning a memorial for a loved one. The event at Pioneer Park was in some ways a celebration, and in others, a reminder. And it's just to remind people that we are a community, and together we can bring our community back, even after a fire has ripped us apart. The Caldor fire tore through parts of the Sierra and leveled the community of Grizzly Flats. It took hundreds of homes. Burn flat to the ground. The only thing standing was the chimney. And Wally, a friend of mine, the day after the fire, he called up, called me on the phone, his cell phone, and said, you need a place to live? <laughs> so the fire left many in need, and organizations, including the West Slope Foundation, formed shortly after the fire began. They're working to meet those needs, and on this day, bring a little joy to a community that needs it. All of these people coming together a year anniversary, one year stronger, um, it's, it's just incredible that we have such a great turnout and everybody is so enjoying it so much. Felicia Moffat loved this house. Everything burnt to the ground. And um, I honestly wasn't sure that I would want to go back. But that's my home. That is my home. And it will always be my home. She says this is the view now. She plans to rebuild. There's so much peace up there. And um, that's not going to change because of the fire. In Somerset, Leanne Denyer, KCRA 3 News.